Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, we're halfway through October, just over halfway through October. Um, so it's only two weeks now until the great big little stitchery swap take two officially starts. Now, uh, we I, I did talk about it in a video a little while back, about a month ago, when the first one kind of finished. And uh, I know a lot of people straight away started getting their lists together for their lists of swapsters together uh, but for some people you'll be watching this will all be new to you you'll be doing this for the first time so I've just come on now just to sort of go over the the guidelines for the whole thing how it all works and just talk about what the great big little stitchery swap is so the first great big little stitchery swap finished at the end of September and it we all just had such an amazing time with it it was such a huge runaway success that we just had to do it again. What's it all about? Let's start from the beginning. The idea of the Great Big Little Stitchery Swap is to swap little squares of stitchery with other people all over the world. Well, you can you can choose where you want to swap with, whether you want to stick within your own country or swap with people all over the world. Whether you just want to do just one swap or as many as you like. Last time I did 45, I will not be doing that again. <laughs> it was just too much. <laughs> Uh, this on my swap list is already full from the mainly from the overflow of the time before where I'd had to eventually draw a line and say so I'll, I'll put you on the list for the next one so my list was kind of full before we even started because I'm only doing 15 this time and I think that will be enough let's talk about what you need to do you need to make a square of stitching four inches or ten centimeters square with a border all around about a centimeter or half an inch uh, just because some people like to stitch them together into quilts or or whatever in a minute i will show you some of the ones that i received in the last swap to give you an idea if you haven't seen it can be any kind of stitching um we've said this time we will you know include machine stitching if you, if you enjoy free motion machine embroidery or machine quilting you can do that it's fine it doesn't have to be it was all hand slow stitching last time but if some other kind of stitching is your bag go for that um, I'll talk about how you how you actually arrange to swap in a minute. Let's just talk about first about what you what you actually need to to make. We are we do have an optional theme this time. We did we just left it open last time, but this time is an optional theme. I'll put it up here. My favourite dot dot dot. So it could be your favourite flower, your favourite colour, your favourite stitch, um, your favourite book. <laughs> your your favorite bird uh your favorite place you know um and, and if it's a favorite place bear in mind that you know your favorite place could say be your garden but you could just embroider a flower to sh to to symbolize that it could just be your favorite technique maybe you just love making hexes or maybe you just love canther stitching and just do rows and rows and rows of straight stitching one of the things i must stress is do not you know don't worry about perfection don't feel that you've got to be an expert embroiderer that's not what this is all about what this is about is just enjoying the process sharing our love of this wonderful hobby of ours and celebrating the online friendships the that, that we've all um developed uh, through this amazing community of ours that's what it's all about and that was very much the feeling um, in the first swap it was just absolutely it was a joy to make the squares it was a joy to receive them and I'm having all the joy of putting mine together into um, books which I'll, I'll show you the beginnings of in, in a mo. In order to join in with the swap this did cause some has caused some confusion before I'm not organizing the swaps you don't need to contact me to put you on a list or anything like that if you want to join in what you need to do is um, find your swapsters as I call them the people you were swap with and there are two different ways of doing this you can do it on the Facebook through the through the Facebook group Artie Farty Annie group on Facebook all of this will be linked below or in our free discord community if you go into the discord community there's a special stitchery swap room so you can go in there that's where you will post pictures of your incoming swaps as well because everybody likes to see <laughs> what, what's been going back and forth at the top of that stitchery swap room if you click on the pin icon you'll find um, that I've pinned a sort of summary of all the things I'm talking about now all the, all the guidelines and things everything you need to know really 
but if you've got any questions you can always just just post a comment in there and someone will help you out if you're not sure what to do and what you need to do is go in there or or go into the facebook group and you need to say hi i'm so and so i'd like to swap with however many people whether you want to do one or three or thirty <laughs> Be careful, don't take on too much. Don't put yourself under too much pressure. The main thing is to enjoy this. And you need to be very clear which countries you're happy to swap with. Bear in mind, this will cost you postage. You know, so so don't, you know, just, just bear that in mind when you're, you're saying where, where you're happy to swap with. Speaking of postage, do make sure that you keep keep your stitches as keep your stitcheries as flat as you can and just put them inside a card and then they can go in in like in the UK it's large letter pack. Some of the girls in Australia were advised to put card only at the top. I think most people sent their squares as large letter or equivalent. Please don't feel I know lots of people put lovely little extra goodies in and that's always really nice to get, but please, please don't feel that you have to do that. Um I don't want to see anybody feeling under pressure. So I know swaps can get a bit out of hand with a kind of people <laughs> feeling like they've got to put lots and lots of stuff in it's it's about the square it's about the square it's lovely if you want to send extra things to your swaps so that's really sweet but you don't have to and bear in mind that if you do it will put the cost of postage up massively i was sending some beautiful things in with my swap squares that i've got i absolutely will treasure them but i was a bit oh, at the amount of postage it costs to people sometimes so you know um do just bear that in mind so yeah, if, if you so if you're in the Discord community, I'm kind of I'm going a bit all over the place, but hopefully I'll cover everything, and I will summarise everything in in the description box below, and you'll also be able to find the same summary on Discord or in the Facebook group. If you're in the Discord group, say who you are, say how many people you want to swap with, and which countries you're happy to swap with, and then people can comment, can answer your, can reply to your comment, saying yes, I'm interested, um, and you can say great just pm me or dm me direct message me or private message me it's very easy to do on discord if you're not sure just ask someone and someone will point you in the right direction it's very easy to do so then you can private message people and you can securely exchange addresses with them please do not share your address openly in the main community only do it by private message just you know no private detail don't share private details with the whole world it's an open group anybody can join but if you go in the private message it's absolutely safe only you and the person you're messaging will see it so you don't need to worry about that if you um, aren't in discord and you would rather do it via facebook you can go to the facebook group um if you're in the facebook group that there isn't kind of a, a separate room for the stitchery swap so for then then you need to be very clear when you make your post you're you're looking for stitchery swapsters because there will be an art swap as well going on and that has caused the confusion just a couple of times so say hi i'm looking for stitchery swappers i'm so and so i'd like to swap with so many people happy to swap all over the world or just wanting to swap in canada or australia or england wherever you are and again you can private message on facebook just do it by facebook messenger do not share any personal addresses or anything like that openly in the facebook group it, and it sounds like an obvious thing to say but it did happen a couple of times and i quickly deleted the message and just let people know or, you know would advise you not to do that because for your own for your own safety there's a summary uh, of the guidelines and things at the top of pinned at the top of the facebook group as well what I could do is just quickly show you both those places. So let's share my screen and we'll have a quick look at Discord. So here we are in the general chit chat room in Discord. <laughs> People talking about how the days are drawing in, it's time to embrace the darkness. <laughs> they are at this on this half of the world anyway. <laughs> so all down the left here are all the different rooms that you can go into. And if you look down here under public gallery category, there's one that's called Stitchery Swap. You'll also see there's one called Art Swap there and lots of others. So this is where people post pictures of their incoming squares. Somebody really jump in the gun there. They've already got a square for the next swap and we haven't even really started yet. <laughs> people were so enthusiastic to get going. It's just, it's amazing to see. It's lovely. 
So this is where you'll go in here and you'll type a, a message saying you're looking for swapsters and then you can click up here on the left, you'll see a little icon there. When you hover over it, it says direct messages. I won't click on it now because it might show private messages. I don't want to show anyone's details or anything. Um, but if you click on there, you'll be able to private message people. Any problems with that, just give us a shout and someone will help you out. If you look at the top here, it may be in a different place on the on, on, on a phone or, or different device. I'm on a PC here. But if you click on the pin icon, you'll see that the great big little stitchery swap take two <laughs> rules and guidelines and how to take part all the information you need there. Always any questions though, just, just shout as I say. So let's let's have a look at the Facebook page now. Well, it's not a Facebook page, it's a Facebook group. The Facebook page is not the place to go. The Facebook page won't allow you to post. If you go into the Facebook group, you'll be able to um, look for your swapsters and you'll find this. Here's um, <laughs> exactly what I was going to show you. The great big little art swap take two rules and guidelines. If it does com doesn't come up, um, try clicking on featured maybe. But for me, it's I've pinned it to the top. It should come up at the top there for you. And then down here at the moment, we're, we're all into Artifartober and people are posting their pieces for Artifartober. Um, but this is, it, this is where you'll see lots and lots, once the stitchery swap starts, you'll see lots and lots of people asking for swapsters and showing their squares. All you'll need to do here is do a post, just like you do in any Facebook group, and, and, and people will comment and you can arrange to uh, talk to them via Facebook Messenger but also you can you'll be able to scroll through find other people asking for swaps and you can comment on their posts and arrange to private message and the same for discord and don't, don't just sort of sit and, and and wait for people to respond to you feel free to trawl trawl through scroll up and down see who else is looking for swaps and just reply to their comment and say you still looking for swaps shall I private message you just 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 get talking and um, judging by what happened last time people were still looking for new swaps right up until the end of the last swap and then very quickly started gathering more for the next swap so you you know whenever you join in I'm sure you won't have a problem finding uh, finding swapsters well I'm going to have a quick look at that that guidelines myself just to make sure I've mentioned everything I feel like I've been a bit haphazard four inch square plus uh, or ten centimeters plus a say one centimeter or half inch seam all around any kind of stitching you like to do is fine don't worry about making it perfect leave the edges raw don't worry about backing them people will do various different things with them but you don't need to worry about that I actually like to see all the stitching on the back of mine <laughs> I like messy backsides uh, no ex expectation to include anything else except your stitch square we've covered that or oh, remember to include your name and or your social media names however you want to be known to your recipient um it would be very easy to put it in that to, to actually send it off without saying who you are <laughs> if you're following the theme my favorites it'd probably be quite nice to put a little note in saying you know you're saying about why it's your favorite whatever um some people i think are going to do not just one thing um they're going to do their favorite this their favorite that their favorite the other and do lots of different lots of different things or just ignore the theme altogether and do whatever you like it really doesn't matter it's just a suggestion because some people do like a theme to get them going oh this is an important one that i nearly forgot so the deadline to send your squares out is the 31st of december i know lots of people have already started making their squares ready to send out and and are going to send them out almost as soon as the swap starts please don't feel pressure and let that spoil it for you i for one will not be will not be sending all, all mine out in the in the first week i'm not going to start stitching until the first of november some of mine probably won't go off till right up against the deadline so it might be that some of my recipients won't get their squares until into 2024 so if i send them off on the 31st they're not going to get them until into january but i reckon that would be a nice little bright spot after christmas won't it so it's, it's great if you're enthusiastic and want to get going straight away but if you need a bit more time please don't please don't feel pressured when you see other people sending them out really fast don't let that put you off you've you've got plenty of time it's it's 31st of december to send the squares out you can't be responsible for how long they then take to get there um so it's not like you don't have to think all right if i've got to get them there by the 31st of december i better send them out by end of November to allow for Christmas post you don't need to worry about that the deadline is to get them sent out if they don't get there till halfway through January it, that's not your fault 
<laughs> you know so we've got two we've got two months basically to sit to enjoy our slow stitching and that is that's a key word enjoy enjoy the process let me just check i missed anything else only share your personal details via direct message you can always if it, whether in the facebook group or in discord you can always tag me so i'm arty farty annie in in both places be clear about where you're happy to post to make sure you say stitchery swap or art swap if you're in the facebook group and in Discord, make sure you go to the Stitchery Swap Room. Oh, and one more thing. We're a bit ahead of the game here, but when you do start posting pictures of your incoming squares, please try and make sure it's lovely to take a picture. If you get little extra bits and pieces or you want to show the card it came with, it's nice to take a little pretty picture. But please also try and take a nice straight on picture in good natural light showing the square the whole square and nothing but the square because then when I come to put them all together for a gallery further down the line I'm still working on the gallery from the last one um, it will be a nice picture just to show the square in the gallery and please when you're posting anything about stitchery swap whether you're looking for swapsters or posting pictures of your incoming squares please use the hashtag stitchery swap I'm going to put it here hashtag stitchery swap that way um, it's easy to search for those posts and find you and make sure that I don't miss anybody out. And also if people are looking for swapsters, they could they can do that and quickly find other people that are looking for swap, swapsters. So I think, I think I've covered everything. I just want to show you some of my swaps from last time. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, by the time the swap actually kicks off on the 1st of November, the online gallery that I'm working on will be ready and that will be populated with um, all the pictures that I've brought together, all the ones I could find of all the swaps that went back and forth across the world last time and that will be quite something to behold. I really hope I'm going to get it done in time because it's quite a big job. Um, but it's just going to be incredible to see them all together and you might like to go on there to look for inspiration for your own squares and things and uh, it'll be lovely to go on and see your own squares there I'm going to divide them into a di the different countries where they were made not the countries they went to but the countries where they were made so let's have it last of all let's just have a quick look at some of the squares I got last time to give you an idea if you've not um, seen before I will also so I'll, I'll put my link tree so if you go on the link tree you can find all the links to the Facebook group discord and wherever make sure you go Facebook group not Facebook page I will also put the rules and guidelines in the description box below but remember you can find them on Facebook and discord as well and I will put a link to the great big little stitchery swap playlist here on my YouTube channel so that's where you'll find previous videos where I've been like the ones like this where I've been talking about how it all works and all of my incoming swap openings <laughs> which were just such an absolute joy it was just yeah what a, what a summer it was what an incredible experience it was it really just yeah the whole thing I thought it was a lovely idea but I wasn't sure how many takers I'd get I thought maybe half a dozen people would go yeah I'll swap a square with you <laughs> before we know it, we've got literally hundreds of people all over the world swapping squares with each other some of them some of the them I, I never even saw you know it's just it's been incredible it yeah let's just have a quick look at some of the ones that came in I'm sorry this is, this is all a bit rambling this video but hopefully everything you need is in here somewhere this is a little book that I'm, I'm putting my the swaps that I got I'm putting into books I had thought I was going to make a book <laughs> well this is just about maybe a quarter, maybe a third of the swaps I got. Here are the rest of them, <laughs> which I've divided into two more piles, but I think they might be a bit fat and I might have to make these into three books instead of two. <laughs> now, this is the book that I've got partly made and in a minute I'm going to be making another video showing the next stage so if you've been following how I've been making my squares into this book that'll be coming up really soon um, probably probably won't be ready to go out until tomorrow so I've started putting this together this will become my cover this will be my like my inner <laughs> you know my kind of front page frontispiece <laughs> and then I've stitched all of my squares that, I, that came in into these calico pages and um, for each one I've done a little bit of stitching that in some way reflects the the design the, the, the stitches or the colours or the style of, of the piece that, that was sent 
if that makes sense. And for each one, I've also embroidered their name. And I've left them loose at the bottom so I can flap them up because I like to look at the backs. So yeah, I, this is still a work in progress. It needs to be stitched here. I'm going to be putting tabs on. Obviously, the cover and things needs to be done. But these are just some of the many squares that I got. Two Michelles <laughs> facing each other there. <laughs> Ta -da! So you can see what a huge, what a huge variety. And this is just going to be such an inspiring little tr book of treasures. I'm going to call it my sh my treasury of stitches. It's just so, so inspiring to look through already. I can't wait to have it all kind of all put together. So that is all ready for me to do the next video, showing the next stages of that. And then I think I'm going to because, um, so this is the kind of thing, you know, people like to put in as extras, which is really, it's so sweet. Mary sent me these and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing some thread painting with these. Um, it, it's so lovely. This was Heidi. Was this Heidi? No, this is Nancy. This is Nancy. I think these were, when oh, these Heidi? I kept note of it all somewhere so that I will <laughs> remember. And these pieces were all sent by Pat Havel from Australia. I was, oh, just look at these beautiful pieces. So these are going to be become I'm, I'm, the, the cover of this first book. Um, I'm going to turn it into a, like a Victorian crazy patchwork type of thing. So I'm going to stitch them all together, but I, I will show that in a separate video. And these will either become tabs on the pages or they might just become part of the, I don't know, I haven't decided quite yet. You can see I've got, I've got a lot to do putting them together. I've got a lot to do putting the um, online gallery together. And we've got Artifant Obi going on at the moment as well. So, uh, But hopefully I'll be all ready to go for the 1st of November and I'm really looking forward to a second round of swapping. It's just going to be so much fun. If you if you joined in last time, um, I hope you're looking forward to it as well. You've probably already got your list of swaps just together. <laughs> I think all the people who do who um, joined in last time have already have already got their list together if you're joining in for the first time um, don't feel daunted if you've got any questions just ask um, have a look have a look back on, on the Facebook group and in the discord um, community as well in, in that stitchery swap room because you can scroll back and see the previous squares and stuff if you want to get an idea and as soon as that online gallery is ready I'll, I'll make it available I will probably well I'm aiming to get it ready for the 1st of November so <laughs> I can do a video saying woohoo great big little stitchery swap uh, take two has just started and here's a link to the online gallery that's my plan now I've said it in public now I'll have to do it <laughs> Okay, um, I, I hope I've covered everything there. I'm very excited. I think all of us who did it before are very excited and lots of newbies already joining in are excited to join in. So um, let's do it. <laughs> I would say, um, I, I know I said the first time I, I, I made a, a video about this a, a while back, I said, can we wait and not start asking for swapsters until the 1st of November? Because we kind of need a, a bit of a break, a cut off point, but you know, it just went nuts. It just went nuts. People were so keen to get going. It was lovely to see. So if you're keen on joining in, I would say go there now, go to the Facebook group or the, into the Discord community now and start um, start connecting with your swapsters. And then you'll be ready to kick off on the 1st of November. Okay, that's all I got to say for now. Thank you very much for joining me today and happy stitching. I said that in a really Norfolk way then. Stitching. Happy stitching. <laughs>